Welcome back to the channel, The Hiking Journal. And in this video, I'll be spending the night on Seathwaite Fell, and then hopefully hiking to Scarfell Pike via the famous corridor route. Back in the Lake District today. I'm sure everybody knows where I am. Just in case you don't, Seafweight. Seafweight Farm. Park there, just heading up to Seafweight Fell tonight. I think it's going to be nicer tomorrow, according to the weather forecast. It's a little bit quieter now, past the crowds. I couldn't film myself going over that little bridge. It's a constant stream of people coming over it. Hello. So yeah, I'm just heading up to Starhead Tarn at the moment. They said it was two and a half miles from the, from the farm, Seafweight Farm. Didn't take me too long. Quite a deep little plunge pool. Nice. You can see the top of this path now. Not too much longer. It's still a bit windy. Could be a good test for my nature hike cloud up three tents. In Wales it was it was really calm, no wind. It was at this point my microphone decided to stop working. I crossed over Ruddy Gill beneath the towering crags of Great End and headed for Sprinkling Tarn. Here's a few factoids regarding Sprinkling Tarn. It was once called Sparkling Tarn and it is regarded as the wettest place in England. The Tarn is also accredited as a source of the River Derwent. There were quite a few tents already pitched up at the Tarn so I explored the undulated plateau of Seathwaite Fell for my own spot for the night. Well, finally pitched up. It was a little bit windy, made it a bit difficult to pitch. Um, yeah, it's not quite got the hang of it, I don't think. <laughs> That's a bit of practice, so I don't need it, I think. This doesn't look good, does it? This uh, stretch in there, I don't know what's going on there. Hmm. Ah, I'll be fine. He'll be right. This could go, come out a bit more. Yeah, it looks okay. It'll do. Nice little pitch. Looking on Seafweight Fell, looking over towards Derwent Water. Great end, still in cloud. People are being a bit noisy by sprinkling tar for some reason. I need to get some food on, I think. Quite hungry. A cup of tea as well. So, uh, catch you in a bit. Uh, what are we having? Rice and chicken curry from Four Class. It's a uh, decathlon meal. Let's open it up. Ooh, it's a bit solid. <laughs> yeah, smells nice. Smells like a chicken curry. Well, did the obligatory point at the camera? Can you see that? Look at that. Look at that. Look. Nothing like the picture <laughs> to be expected. To be fair, it's the same colour. You know that. That. That's not bad. Definitely, the rice is nice. Swing around. Not bad, is it? The sun's gone now. It was a little bit pink before. I tried to do a time lapse, but it blew over. 
Catch you later. see a beautiful morning blue skies fantastic hopefully it won't get too hot so yeah it was a good night last night again once I'd pitched up the wind stopped and uh, a few clouds about but really good view of the stars I could see the Milky Way and everything fantastic yeah beautiful see down there into Keswick Derwent water Skidder, a little bit of cloud on, not too much. Bit of flat grass down there where the tent was. Did a uh, did a time lapse of the of the packing it away. Because <laughs> I know people love them, don't they? <laughs> the plan for today was to hike to Scarfell Pike via a scenic trail known as the Corridor Route, but unfortunately things didn't quite go to plan. Hello. Look at that. Crystal clear. That's what you want. Look at the sparkle. Is it sparkling? I hope not. I hate sparkling water. Who drinks that? It's a French in it. They love it. Not for me. Uh, uh, Dave, I think you're going the wrong way. Dave, Dave, the corridor route isn't that way, mate. Ah, uh, never mind. You'll find out soon enough. Come the wrong way. Come the usual boring way. Esk house instead of the corridor route. Ah oh, well. Ah well, <laughs> it's very different in this bright, <laughs> bright sunshine. I always look a bit closer and a little bit flatter. <laughs> There's no shadow, there's hardly any. No shade. Let me not. Oh, there's a bit of a, a bit of a breeze now. I can't believe I went the wrong way. I can, actually. I decided to branch off from the main path leading up to Broad Crag and have a look down onto the corridor route. As Jim Bowen used to say, let's have a look what you could have won.
looking towards this pile of stones, which is uh, another name, Hill Crag. It's just a pile of rocks. It's all just piles of rocks up here. Both fell over there. Crinkle crags. Now that's the view. Amazing. Very drone worthy. Release the drone. Great views down there. You haven't got a head for heights, so I wouldn't come here. I am getting eaten alive by midges here. So I'm gonna have to make a retreat, a hasty retreat. There's a uh, fell runner coming up. Maybe he's doing the, the Bob Graham round. It's not a wane, right? I can see why. Well, it's a nice view, nice view on the other side. You've got a head for heights. Just heading back to Seaquake Farm. Didn't quite do what I wanted to do today. Uh, well, I didn't do it at all, did I? I wanted to go the corridor route. I went the wrong way. Ah, well. <laughs> I'll go the right way next time. Anyway, I'm going to sign off. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, hit the bell and you'll be notified of when I drop a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <coughs>
Once I summited Scarfell Pike, the weather changed. The temperature dropped, the wind whipped up, and rain started to fall. I had originally planned to go up to Scarfell via Fox's Tarn, but I decided to head down via Broad Crag and leave that for another day. Real boulder feel this. Hard to find where the path is. We just follow the cairns. Should be alright. Just listened to a podcast, Country Shrine. It's all about the Lake District. It's really good actually. It's a really good podcast. Recommend it. Go and check it out. Again, just make your way towards the cairns. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel or even comment on the video, it all helps to grow the channel.